have you been, been, Sheriff? In the world up above. But I'm back now, just in time, too, for the children's corner. When I'm sitting around with my homework all done and there's nothing to do, I call all of my friends, they don't answer the phone. Where have they gone to? Where do you go? Seeing you confined in a wheelchair like that and all the... But no, that's why I keep it around in case folks like you that get hurt and need one can borrow it. You can borrow it as long as you need it. You know, uh, your pa borrowed that from me not too long ago when he had the gout. Thanks, Sheriff. My ankles are killing me. Yeah, I'm sure they are killing you falling out of that apple tree and all. Well, if the squirrel hadn't startled me, then I wouldn't have fallen out. And you wouldn't have been startled by the squirrel if you hadn't climbed up a tree in the first place. You never did get that apple anyway, did you? No, but I have a wheelchair now. <laughs> That's right, you do have a wheelchair now. Uh, you borrowed a wheelchair. Yeah, but yeah, right now you have a wheelchair instead of an apple. You know, they uh, call that a chain reaction. You know, um, you know what that is, right? No. Good, because yeah. uh, I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> a chain reaction is when a um, event happens which is caused by the previous one. Okay, let me explain. So a chain reaction would be the first event, in your case, you climb up the tree, right? But when you were startled by the squirrel, that never would have happened had you not been um, climbing up the tree in the first place. And that was the previous event. When you fell out of the tree, the previous event would you be, you'd be up on the limb, you know, being startled by the squirrel. So anyway, that's a chain reaction. You know, that happens with chemicals also. If you mix the wrong chemicals together, you can get an explosion or, um, you know, a bad smell, or, you know, something like that. It's a, it's a chain reaction. Actually, uh, Sheriff, uh, the first event that happened was, I think, actually where I was hungry. <laughs> okay, I didn't think of it that way. I, it's funny today, it's the first reaction. Oh, just a second, okay? I'll get right back to you. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the town of the Children's Corner, located in the world of the Magical Couch. I'm Sheriff Stephen Jay, the Sheriff of Slouch County. And today a friend of mine came by, Pinky Lonahan II. He's the son of Lips and Zelda Lonahan. He comes around periodically to say hello to me. But today he came by to borrow the wheelchair I have available for uh, residents here if they need to borrow it. Because he fell out of an apple tree and hurt his ankles. Isn't that right there, Pinky? Are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you. Who else would he be talking to? I don't know. The air. Space in the room, the walls. Well, anyway, falling out of the apple tree is actually a consequence of his actions. Consequence? I thought you said it was a chain reaction. Well, it is a chain reaction. But it's also an alphabet chef word of interest. Con no, you don't. Stay right there. <laughs> don't you just love a captive audience? Consequence. C O N S E Q U E N C E. Consequence, which is a, a result or effect of an action or condition. And in this case, his consequence is him being in this wheelchair from falling off that apple tree. I guess the consequence of me hearing that definition is me coming here in the first place. Yeah, you know. Now you got it! Yeah, I was here earlier, and uh, you weren't here. Were you out looking for some bad guys? Yeah. I was in the world up above, visiting a friend of mine, Joe Bryant, at his stove works place, and his wife, Bee. They have their own private museum up there. He collects all this very, very unique stuff. They have a doll room, and they sell old stoves. But they have this private museum, and he gets new antique stuff all the time. And anyway, he loves showing it to people, and he has some really neat stuff up there. So I was checking it out. What? You need me, Jackson. You need me. 
<laughs> what do you mean? I got big laughs, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you got laughs, but there was something missing. You know, your program without me is like a Persian rug. It looks good, but it just lays there. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's... <laughs> we skipped a little of it at the same time. <laughs> Cylinder record player. And if you had a wax record, you could make your own record. You could take this off here. Put this speaker hose on here. Wind it up and start it going. And talk, in the, talk right in this thing, see? Once you got your record made, you could take this off. You put this on and play it back. This one requires a lot of winding. The name of this record is Uncle Josh at the camp meeting. Well, hello, last summer we had a camp meeting down home at Pumpkin Center and for several days we were pretty busy baking and cooking and making preparations for the camp meeting and some of the committee allowed we ought to have lemonade for the Sunday school children. Well, we wanted to get it just as cheap as possible, so we dammed up the creek what runs back to the camp meeting grounds and put in ten pounds of... <laughs> Megdon. E.E.G. Tabula. Made in Germany, and you take hold of this little pointer here, you see it moves it, you got all your numbers here and all your alphabet up here, even in capital and small. So you just point to what you want and hit it over here, see, and this goes in and out and back and forth. Takes two hands to do it, though, you gotta, and you got to remember where all these things are. <laughs> kind of a cool thing, actually. But this is an early one here. This is a simplex typewriter. One of these moves the paper on the other one. And you got the instructions in here, but I can't seem to figure them out very good. There was a woman here one day, said I had one of them when I was a small child to play with. This is a barrel street piano. It was made over in Spain, and uh, you have to crank it fairly fast. There's one place you might recognize, but uh, I'll kind of point that out when I get there. <laughs> little thing right here. They call it a roll of Monica. In 1929 you could buy this little beauty here with one roll for a dollar and a half. It has a roll I can play a piano. The problem I had was the rolls were all de depleted and going to fall apart. I found an added machine paper and I cut it the right width and then I clipped this with paper clips and marked them with a sharp pencil then uh, took a little knife and cut them out so I could have it would work. You can blow or suck 
It works either way on most harmonicas. When you suck, it gets it changes a note. But this harmonica is set up so no matter whether you're sucking or blowing, it still plays the same thing. Are we ready, Hezzy? During this visit, I found his roll harmonica very interesting. You know, he's in a kind of a wheelchair as well. Um, they call it a scooter. It's motorized. It moves all by itself. Hmm. I'd try to have one of those. I'm sure you would. Well, everybody, I gotta go do my rounds and get me some lunch. Lunch? Oh, now we're a talking. Uh, I'm so hungry. You gonna join me for lunch today there, uh, Pinky? Uh, not today, Sheriff. I actually came by to warn you about a rumor that was going around town about Black Bart and One-Eye. Really? Well, what kind of rumor? It seems like Black Bart and One-Eye robbed Horrible Herman and now he's gunning for him. Horrible Herman? We just released Horrible Herman from the Sauge County boot camp of rehabilitation not too long ago. I'll tell you what, that's the last person those two would want to rob. Yeah, it seems like Black Bart would get some consequences after Horrible <laughs> Herman's done. Yeah, well, if the rumor's true, uh, and they did rob Horrible Herman, that would be quite the chain reaction. Go fish, Bart. I'm tired of this game, one eye. I mean, I wish Jibber and Gutless would get here so we could play some real cards. Win me some money. Bart, I, I think they stopped off uh, to do some shopping with their share of the money before they come over here. Well, they better not be spending it all on the shopping. I mean, they better save a little. Have a little left over for me to win, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, what I? What? Look, you just walked in. Oh, it's that there uh, minor fella we robbed. How can he afford to buy any drinks up there at the, the bar? I thought we'd talk college, but I'll bet he held out on us. Yeah, what well, I why don't you uh why don't you go up there and see what he's up to? Alright, I'm gonna uh let Jibber and Gutless know what's going on. Go on. Alright. Be right back. Bartender, two sarsaparillas. Make them doubles. How are we gonna pay for that, boss? The saddlebags had all the money in it. Don't worry about that, Dimples. Right now we gotta find those two rats that stole my money. I hate it when people steal my money. It makes me crazy! Hand me that bottle, Dimples. Ow! We'll find them, boss! That fat one called the dumb looking one, One-Eye. We find him and we'll find my money. And when we do, old Betsy here will make sure that their robin days are over. Hey, Jibberin' and Gutless. How you doing, Bart? Hey, hey, yeah, 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 boy, yeah. Hey, now we can play some real cards. Somebody's breaking glass. Yeah. Oh. Hi there. My name's one I James. Say, uh, tell me, you fellas just uh, passing through or new in town? You, uh, find any gold in them there hills? Gold? What are you talking about? Uh, you a miner, ain't you? You know what a miner does, don't you? Eh, you know, a miner, he gets them rocks, and then he goes for the gold vein in the rocks, tries to get rich, and... Well, maybe you don't know that. Uh, probably in one of them their uh, public schools. Ah, uh, we can't all have the brains. Some of us have them, and some of us don't. Oh. Eh, you just one of them fellas that don't. Hey, but tell you what I do. I'll go ahead and buy your drinks for you. I'm feeling rich today. <laughs> and uh, keep the change. <laughs> hey, uh, you don't mind if I pour me one, do you? With no sense waiting for the bartender. Uh, hey, thanks. Uh, what's it? Glass. Uh, here's one. Uh, Still one. Give me half a shot. Uh, 
trying to cut down, you know, uh, sugar. Sugar now goes right to my belly. So tell me, what's your name, fella? What about you? What's your name? My name is Dimples Darling, and this here is my boss. Ah, Dimples Darling. Dimples Darling. I heard that name before. What did I hear that? Dimples Darling. Don't you read the newspapers? Why, of course I do. Every Sunday, read the funnies. Yeah, you know, that little admiral last week. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, trying to read. I need to get my glasses. Just a minute. Uh. Uh, uh, it says, uh, horrible ermine released from Slouch County Boot Camp. Huh, well, what do you know? They released that horrible ermine fella. You know, he's a uh, really nasty character. Uh, folks say he's crazy. <laughs> That's right. He has an anger management problem. <laughs> Let's see. Say he's here. Ah. He, uh, he might be digging up some uh, stuff. Oh, what do you know? You know, he must be rich with all that robbing he done. Uh, probably hit it somewhere. Probably, oh, here you go. Probably digging it up even as we speak. Yeah, yeah. Dimples, wait, wait. That's what I heard that name for. Dimples Darling, you're his right hand man. Nice to meet you. Say, uh, have you seen him lately? Yes, I picked him up yesterday from the Slotch County Boot Camp. Is he as mean as I heard he is? I heard he's ugly, too. Uh, oh, uh, I heard he likes to torture the folks he robs. Uh, terrible man. Even my boss, Black Bart, don't want to have nothing to do with him. That's right. It's great with the shotgun, too. He's a king of the shotgun. He can he can hit a flea a hundred miles away with a shotgun. It's just amazing. What, he's, man, uh, what does he look like? He wears a black hat. Oh, kind of like this fella here? Yes, and also he has a beard. Oh, scraggly looking beard like this, like this fella has? Exactly, and he's got two bandoliers filled with shotgun shells. Ah, oh, just like this fella here. Huh, imagine that, what a coincidence. You don't see that very often these days, now do you? <laughs> this guy's ugly too. <laughs> oh, wow. Also, he has a sidearm and he carries a shotgun. Oh. Kind of like this fella. What is your name, fella? It's Herman! I gotta go. Oh, I'm Johnny Schmidt. I, kidding, I was just joking about the other name I gave you. Ain't true. I gotta see you later. Nice meeting you. Where's Bart? Bart! Uh, what Bart. is it, what are? over there. I see him, and that fat one's with him, too. Yeah, well, what's that miner up to? And who's that cowboy with him? Hey, Bart, that's no miner, Bart. And that's no cowboy, Bart. That's horrible Herman. No. <gasps> horrible Herman! Horrible Herman! Oh, 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 quick! Quick, we, we, we gotta get out of here! Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do, here's what we're gonna do, Oh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna circle around the back, okay? Then we're gonna go out the front of Salou, that way we don't have to run past it. All right, but instead, but be cold! Be cold! Uh, Jimmer and, uh, and uh, Gunless, uh, I'll meet us back at the tent hideout, okay? Then we're gonna sort this whole thing out. All right, let's go, what I... Look, boss, they're running out of the saloon. Should we go after them? No, Dimples. Let them stew for a while. We'll find out where they're headed from those other two that were at the table with them. Let's go over and introduce ourselves. I guess we'll meet him at the tent hideout. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I believe you have my property and some information I'm looking for. Sir. 
So you won't talk? Well, I have ways of making you talk. Take off your shoes. Now! Dimples, give them the featherboarding treatment. I got them, boss. Right here. So you still won't talk? Dimples, break out the claw. Got it right here, boss. You two are a lot tougher to crack than I thought. Dimples, we're going to have to break out the secret weapon. Get the purple nader. Not the purple nader. Get it now. I want my money. I love you, you love me. Bye, bye. We robbed Herbie Bar. Herbie Bar. I called her name. I insulted him. What are you going to do? Uh, uh. It's all your fault, would I? I told you I didn't want to rob anybody today. And now we got that horrible Herbie and his shotgun breathing down our neck. Hey, Barker. I told him I was going to learn him a lesson. I, I called him a dumb dumb. I, I called him he was ugly too. I told him he was ugly, Bart. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Well, I told him he had a stupid looking face. Yeah. And I laughed at his intelligence. Oh. You just had to rob this guy, didn't you, what oh. I? Oh, oh, Bart. What are you going to do, Bart? Oh, oh, what was that? It sounded like it came from the saloon. Oh, oh, Bart. Godless and Jimmerin are in the saloon. Uh, do you think uh, he, he saw them with us at the table? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's bad for us and them, Bart. Uh, oh, that well, me there. Oh, oh, what if he tells them uh, where the tent hideout is, Bart? What are we going to do? Ah, uh, Jimmerin and Godless would never give us up. They're true blue and loyal. Huh, that's good. Slow down, slow down. Dimples, are you getting this? I need a paper and pencil. I need paper and pencil. Thanks. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. You're Black Bart. You always tell the gang that Black Bart fears no man, no way, no how. No problem. We're gonna go back in, and, and you're gonna tell that whole Herman where he stands. We're gonna come on, we're gonna fix it right now. Uh, what I? Uh, All right, that's true. Black Bart does fear no man, no way, no how. Well, good. Okay, so, but horrible Herman is no man. Oh. He's an animal! Oh, what are you doing? We're in trouble, Bart. We're really in trouble. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna take the long way through Fantasy Forest to the hideout. Now, that's just in case we're being followed. And then, you know, who are you? My God, sir. Yeah, this thing's blank on both sides. Exactly. You'd fill out the front with your name and fill out the back with your next of kin. I will take care of the rest. Uh, let's go one eye. Yes. Whoa, whoa, one moment there, sir. A card for you as well. Thank you. When you're done, I'd appreciate if you'd put that in your front right pocket so I'll know where to find it when everything's over, which I don't think's going to be very long. Dimples, take these two to their tent hideout. I'll meet you there later. I'm going to go to the barber shop and get a little trim. Okay. Let's go. Bart, this guy's creeping me out. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's get out of here, one eye. I'll, 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 I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> well, uh, I got to do my rounds and get going, and I guess I have lunch by myself. But you want me to help you with this, or you know, once you get going with this, I think uh, uh, you're gonna do pretty good at it. You're gonna like it. Yeah, I imagine it'll be pretty fun as well. Yeah, it will be pretty fun, I think. Oh, and speak. Oh, speaking about going, I gotta get going. Our time has run out. But I wanna thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to the next time we all get together on the children's corner. 
I can wait. Yeah, I gotta get out of here anyway. You're in my way. Hey, want me? Well, yeah, I hope. It. Watch out for Mr. Dilly's right behind you there. Watch out for. Where do you go? We're gonna go to the children's corner. Where do you go? We're gonna go to the children's corner. Tell me where do you go?